Hey guys, and welcome back to the Basically Nomads bus. I'm Devin. And I'm Brianna, and our friends Amber and Travis are coming over today, and we are going to check out their van, Guinevere. So let's go. Let's check it out. Hello, I'm Travis. I'm Amber. And this is our 1989 Ford Econoline 250 Falcon 190. Come check it out. So this is the uh, the inside of our van. Everything in here was uh, mauve, but it's like a pink color. So everything in here uh, had to be gutted and uh, redone completely. Well, let's just uh, start at the front of the van. Uh, these seats came out of another Ford conversion van because everything up here was pink. Uh, we had to order some new carpet for that section of the van because this was all carpeted all the way back. So uh, we started out by just trying to de of this thing <laughs> which was a little bit of a task so uh, we put the carpet down and got the seats and then we pretty much worked our way back um, we decided to go with vinyl plank flooring instead of the carpet just because it was waterproof just above the cab area in the driver's seats it has a pull out bunk section which is super convenient because our little kids sleep up here and they love being up there but this just this slides all the way out into uh, a full-size sleeping area and adults could sleep up there too if you wanted to but uh we usually choose to sleep down here instead <laughs> We decided to go with a wallpaper because the initial walls was basically just like a sticker of like wood, you know. We were also concerned about trying to keep it light, so wallpaper seemed like a pretty good choice. And it was also pretty easy to do, so it wasn't too bad. And we went with uh, cedar planks for the ceiling up here just because uh, it's supposed to be bug resistant. I don't think bugs really like cedar, that's what we read in there. And also they don't have to be finished and don't have to be messed with. And it was cost effective. The whole ceiling was like a hundred bucks or something like that. And uh, yeah, we just installed the modern LED puck lights, you know, try to brighten it up in here because initially it was, it's, these things are pretty dark. The layout in this van, it came just like this. This was the initial layout and uh, we just pretty much freshened it up. This, so this um, couch, it also folds into a bed. We had it reupholstered because it was that pink color. It just uh, folds around like that. Take your little ladder that's in right here. That way the kids can still get to the bunk area and uh, why we're in a bed. So it actually sleeps a decent amount of people. You get, our dog sleeps there on this small uh, captain's chair sometimes, and two kids up here, and more sleeping down here. So I was kind of surprised actually at the amount of people this van really could comfortably sleep. That was, that was a big reason for getting this type of van for us. You know, having room for the kids, man. That's what it's all about, really. We got rid of the original countertop that was in here and decided to go with a butcher's block. I just like the way it looks. I kind of like the raw wood finish, but it was pretty cost effective too. It was like a hundred bucks, maybe a little bit more than that at Lowe's. Just cut out the sink and we were able to use the piece for a little cutting board, you know, so there was no waste there. And um, The cutout for the little propane stove, this was already here. I just freshened it up and used the same stove. Uh, we use that over here as another little, little piece. But this was all here too. I just pretty much rebuilt. I rebuilt what was already existing, so it was uh, it wasn't too bad. I painted everything white and had to go through here. You know, I had to build out these shelves and change everything because all the shelving in here is just just so thin. Left, you know, from from the 80s. So we tried to beef everything up. There were already speakers here, right in these spots. Everything was already ran. I just made it more modern. I put a uh, infinity infinity uh, kappas in there. I just wanted to be able to jam out, man. You know, they already had these little uh, little drawers down here. And there is the deep cycle battery. And on the other side here, it's uh, your fresh water tank. And these are the uh, legs for the little tables that go there. One, two. And all this stuff was already here with the original layout. For the van, I just I took charcuterie boards. I got off Amazon, just attached the uh, existing piece to it. So we got 
three of those for my kids to eat or color or uh, really just do whatever they want to do. And you have the AC in it, obviously this was here, that all works. Um, we got a, a little two-way refrigerator, Dometic two-way fridge that actually still works just fine off propane and electric, which is, you know, super handy. It's got uh, some storage up here. We didn't really mess with this area too much. Um, I'm looking at actually doing something with this in the future. Something cool, you know, try to build it out. And uh, just we got a little leather. You have to keep everything still in here when you're in a van because when you're driving around, it just bumps around everywhere. But yeah, just regular storage cabinets. This is where we keep the uh, ladder for the bunk that actually makes it accessible and easy to go up there. So we hang it here while we're driving. That way it's just kind of out of the way. Um, we can check out the bathroom. All right. So this is the uh, bathroom in our little van here. Uh, initially it had a toilet right here and there was a bump up right here, but we got rid of that stuff because it enabled us to have room to put a full size tub in here for our kids because initially it was like a little half size tub it really wasn't like super useful to like even bathe your your small kids or whatever so we got some teak and i built this out you know so the, the teak's waterproof i wanted something i didn't have to mess with too much the flooring's the same way we used waterproof vinyl flooring the kids can get it all wet back here it doesn't matter and uh we chose to do a wallpaper on the side here because it was just you know cost effective basically and uh, had some access panels we put in here just to make it easy to get to everything and you know you got to build it out you got to be able to work on it too uh it's got uh came with this it's got a propane heater already in there and it, it works just fine everything uh everything seems to function just fine all right so i'm gonna step up in here we chose to go with a uh a really long uh, shower hose in here because as an adult like It'd be hard to stand up in here and shower really you could sit down if you wanted to but the way it just the, the walls curve it wouldn't be super easy so we got this so you can just come out here you know and shower right here do do whatever you got to do you know stand up and it makes it a little little easier than uh trying to bathe in this tub all the time i would say that's mainly just for for the kiddos all right, well, initially the layout for this van had the, the commode right here, but I just didn't like the way it looked having the, uh, the bathroom there. But uh, we opted to go with uh, this option if you needed to. So this is just a portable toilet. We have little biodegradable bags that go in there, a little bottom piece that fits down in there. And you got yourself a little seat and there's a lid as well. And uh, we just got some cedar chips in there. So that's, that's our commode now. So, well, that's uh, that's pretty much it. It's still a work in progress, honestly. I still have lots of plans for the van. So we had been traveling for quite a while and seen a lot of different vans on the road and we had checked a, a few of them out and we had, that sparked some interest and we just kind of talked about it a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. I actually had gone away for a weekend trip um, on a girl's trip and I came home to my husband having a lovely purchase. So I was like, are you really doing this right now? Like, you're really gonna take on this project? But I know his skills are amazing and he can pull off anything and I knew that it would be something like, you know, mind blowing. But at the time I was like, I don't know if this can come back from that. Because <laughs> it was, I mean, the seats were mauve, this was mauve, it smelled like gas. There was a dead mouse in the tub. There was. Like, it was pretty bad. I wanted a van basically because we've already done a lot of traveling and uh, we have a 20 foot travel trailer, but it's just kind of a, a little bit of a pain if you just want to go somewhere for a weekend or down to the river, you gotta, you gotta hook your trailer up and you gotta you know, worry about leveling it. And just, it was a lot to it. Where with this, we just keep it loaded up with stuff all the time. And if we want to go anywhere on a whim or something like that, we just get in it and go. Yeah, and we've done a lot of like different trips too. Like we started out like tenting it, we mm -hmm. camped. We went for a month cross country with a one year old in a tent for almost a month. And yeah, we've had, we've done tent camping and we had a pop up and we have our trailer. We got rid of that. We got the travel trailer. And I feel like there's not one perfect vehicle for doing that. So it's kind of fun to have like a few different options, you know, without trying to spend like a ton of money. The so total build cost was about $10,000 with the cost of the van and everything. And honestly, a lot of that cost came from the reupholstering stuff in here. That was the most expensive by far. You know, honestly, everything else was, was pretty reasonable. So we thought $10,000 was, uh, we thought pretty reasonable amount for, uh, for what we got out of this, you know. Yeah. I was working as an ICU nurse for 
10 plus years. Um, I've worked in healthcare for over 20 years. So for me, I always asked all of my patients like about their life and, you know, what they could change about it. And, you know, and they're always like, you have to live in the moment and like, you know, live every day as if tomorrow isn't going to happen. And, you know, cause you never know, like so many people work until retirement and think that they have all these expectations that they're going to be able to travel the world and they're going to be do all, doing all these things. And they're lucky if they make it to retirement age nowadays. And if they do, they're lucky if they're able bodied to be able to go explore and do all the things. So for us that we, we didn't want that life. Like we want to, that's why we've traveled so much already. Um, yeah, we, home, we, yeah, we homeschool our kids, yeah. which also gives us like the ability to not be tied to a school system. So we have, you know, a lot more time to explore and yeah. uh, teach our kids about the world. So we both work from home now. So we had a lifestyle change or we're both working from home, homeschooling our kids and, uh, you know, trying to just enjoy life till its fullest. And for us, that means traveling. So that's our life is just about giving our kids experiences and teaching them about the stuff that they can't learn in school, you know? And yeah. uh, so having a van build and that kind of stuff, I think just gives you a lot more opportunity to experience the world, really, not be tied down so much. All right guys, thanks for watching our van build. We'll see you on the road.